what's up guys uh welcome back to my channel thank you for being here with me um it's been a while ever since i uh, put in more work on this channel i've been working on this spanish one and i have a video today which i'm gonna measure the roof and um how we how we do it uh just by hand and the old way the old style without uh, the internet so um i'll finally be able to put more time into this channel well would if you guys have any questions just let me know down in the comments uh if you want to check out my other channels uh the one in spanish i'll leave you the link in the description and um we're just gonna go step by step measuring these sides the whenever we have like type of triangles uh we just go in the middle all the way from the top to the bottom and uh on this side it's gonna be 24 foot uh tall that's how much uh that's the length so we're gonna take those 24 foot and we're gonna split them in half or or basically go to the halfway on that slope and halfway is 12 foot so on those 12 foot we're gonna measure across so we can get our our total uh, coverage and across when we go across we're gonna have the total of 30 foot uh, so we're gonna write it down we're gonna write it down and uh, and we're gonna do the do the same thing on every side we're gonna put we're gonna write it down on the paper and then at the end uh, I'll just get off the roof and uh, and just uh, do the the whole uh, sum over uh, down there I invite you guys to subscribe uh, I'm gonna try to make videos how to how to put shingles, do valleys, stuff like that. Uh, this channel is more I aim it towards uh, new new roofers, uh, which is something good enough to start. On this side, we're gonna have 12 foot, so we go 12 foot down, and then we go. Uh, across we measure across and that's how much how we get our perimeter 12 foot by 11 foot uh, wide and then on this other triangle we do the same thing we go down in the middle to give us 24 foot and then we're gonna go across but since this side is the same all the way to the top we can just go anywhere just go across it's the same distance whether you do it on top or the bottom so we're gonna go across and we have the total of 21 foot so that's gonna be 24 by 21. Okay, so the the other the east side, which is that one, we're gonna have the, the exact same measurement as the west side so we're gonna just put the number how it is in the in the first one and then we measure the back it's a a little smaller and different than the front and on this one we have uh, the total of 24 foot down we go back to halfway which is 12 and then we just measure across You can buy these little tools. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description. In the description, uh, and then we have uh, 
22 foot are wide I'll leave the link in the description and uh, and you can find them on on Amazon so that's it for the uh, for the coverage and then now we're, it's time to measure for the ridge the ridge is pretty simple we just go down and that's gonna be linear foot there there is a 33 linear foot in a bundle and now uh, so we go down on this one we have a 32 foot so since we have four sides that are all the same we just do 32 foot times four and that will give us our our total for the four sides that way we don't have to measure them again and then we just measure this little bit little bitty piece and then one side of the triangle which is the one we haven't put it in the addition yet so we, we go down and we have a 20 25 foot And that's how we get the ridge, hip and ridge. It's pretty simple. I have a page uh, where I write everything down, like the uh, pipe flashings, box vent. Let me know in the comments if you need uh, advice on anything like that, and I'll gladly be. I I'd be happy to 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 send it over to you on your email. Also, if you need a roof measurement, I can do it online. I'll send it to you on uh, on, on uh, through the email. Just give me the address, and with with that one, I can uh, get you your measurement right over. I'll leave, I'll leave my uh, buy me a coffee account in the description, and there you can leave me comments, leave me messages, and uh, I'll give back to you. And that way, I I'll do those those measurements. It doesn't take long. I can do it pretty 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 quick as long as I'm not that busy all right guys so we got everything written down it's time to go down there and uh, do our measurement our adding addition so we're gonna just add a Add up all the sides that that we got and that way we'll get our total coverage area without the waste included and I'm gonna show you how to get the waste uh, okay so the first side it was 24 by 30 which is 720 and then 12 by 11 132 third side 24 by 21 504 fourth side 24 by 30 720 which is the same as it was uh, the same side as the other one and then the last side 24 by 22 that's the back side to have the total we're gonna add everything up So 2604 is our total. And um, since this house is cut up and it has valleys, it has a, a hips, which is the end where you have to waste more shingles. We're gonna add a 10% a, a, a on this one. And that should cover for our loss of the, of the material. And uh, we always have to use waste on anything we do and uh, cause I mean, it's, there's always going to be uh, leftover material pieces. So 2604 plus 10%. And here we have the percentage. We add it up and it's 28.64. 
which makes it to 28.66 we round it up to the nearest uh, bundle and because each bundle if you know about squares each bundle covers 0.33 so we need 28 squares and two bundles that's how we get it it fits pretty a really cut up house uh, a really cut up roof we we have to add like a 15 percent that's more on 12 pitches and on on 10 12 and 12 12 because uh they're more steep so they have more valleys they usually have more valleys and there's more waste as well so the ridge the ridge how we do it we had a uh, in total 153 linear foot and uh, we're just gonna divide it by 33 because there's a uh, 33 linear foot in a bundle. So we do it 153 divided by 33. We have the total. Of 4.63 so basically five bundles five bundles uh, ridge hip and ridge five bundles or if you say it in squares it will be uh, there's three bundles in a square so it will be 1.66 squares of hip and ridge All right, guys. So that's how uh, I give my measurements when doing it on uh, when doing it uh, the old style and the cheapest style too. Because you could also order them for like an Eagle View, for instance. But uh, you always have to pay pay a little bit of money. You can order the quick squares or the one that gives you everything, all the details. Uh, but this one is this the the cheapest and the most accurate because I never I'm I'm almost always Like right on the line with the materials that I get I always have a I might need a bundle sometimes or I might have two or three left over but it doesn't go Really go more than that. So uh, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up as well as if you didn't like it you can give it your thumbs down and uh subscribe for more information i'm gonna be having more uh attention to this channel thanks for being with me and uh, if you check out my other channels see you guys later